All right, section 8.3, part two. We are going to continue with our log laws. Let's get into this. We are going to discover some laws. We got one more left and a few rules in there. We're going to solve problems using this new law, the power law. So let's get into it. Here's the product law. Remember for exponents, we have this rule. If I've got a power to a power, I multiply the powers. We're going to do something similar, yet slightly different for logs. My power rule now goes like this. If I have log base C of x to the power of some number y, I can take the power y and I can bring it out in front of the log. This might not seem as intuitive as it does for exponents, but this is handy. This is what's, what we're going to get if I'm canceling out some uh, solving for powers, which is the whole reason why I use logs, is this main law is going to help us to solve for something. Let's look at some examples to show you why. Here I've got simplifying log base 3 of 81 to the power of 2. Using my power rule, power law, I can bring this power out front. So now I can take a look at inside the 81 that's inside the log is just 3 to the power of 4. I can take the power of 4, and again, I can multiply that in front. And what I'm left with is log base 3 of 3 times 8. If you remember with logs, I'm looking for what is the base to the power of what gives me the number that's inside of there. So in this, 3 to the power of 1 gives me 3. So log base 3 of 3, that actually cancels out. Those are inverses of each other, they cancel out. It's the same as if it said uh, 4 minus 4, they cancel out. Or if it's 4 divided by 4, they cancel out. So log base 3 of 3 just equals 1. So you get this. And you'll see that multiple times as we go through. Let's simplify this. Remember with the, the power law, I want to get rid of the power. So I'm going to combine this cube root of x and this squared. I'm going to turn that into a single power so that I can bring it out front. And again, I've got log base x of x. That just equals 1. So again, if the base and what's inside the log is the same, that cancels out. I'm going to be going a little bit quickly through the examples. You'll see why in some later videos there's lots of different examples. So I'm trying to get you to trying to move through it. If the algebra isn't making sense, just pause it, watch it, or take, try and see what I did. Let's simplify this one. Again, I've got some multiplication in here. I've got a division. So we need to use the laws from last video. Expand this all out. The laws that are in the numerator, or the logs that are in the numerator, those become positive. The logs in the denominator are negative logs. Can bring all the powers up front. And I've got one log base x of x, and that becomes a 1. And this is my answer. Ugly, but this is what it is. Um, so this is the expand, expansion of that. Now I want to write this as a single log. So one way I can do this, put the powers up. They're both log base 2. So I can multiply those together inside of the log, and x to the power of 3 times x squared is just simply x to the power of 5. Some of you might have noticed, I've got 3 log base 2 x's plus 2 log base 2 of x's. I could have just added those log base 2 of x's, gotten 5, which then becomes the power. So there's two ways you could have done this. We're getting some bigger equations here, we want to combine this into a single log. First things first, get all the numbers in front of the logs as the powers. That's the very first thing you need to do. I'm going to actually deal with the powers because those actually get me good numbers. So 6 squared becomes 36. 64 to the power of a half is 8. Now I'm going to combine these terms. So put them into a single log. This gives me log base 3 of 9. And 3 to the power of what gives you 9? That would be 2. So here's my answer. 
simplify this guy. Okay, let's write this out. So the power can go in the front, and I've got log base A uh, of 1. This is going to equal 0. Well, why is that, you say? Because A to the power of 0 gives you 1. So log base anything to 1, the, it has to equal 0. So my answer for this is 0. That's the only way this works. Another one. Solve this one. So I showed you how to do this with guessing before and when we did chapter 7. So now we can look at how to actually solve this using logs. So what you're going to do, well, first method we're going to do is take the log of both sides. You get this. Because of my power rule, I can now bring the x to the front and divide by log 4 to isolate the x and then plug that in your calculator and you get a number. So this is how you use logs as the inverse of exponents. Another one is using the definition of what a log is. So remember the definition of this log is just this. The base of my exponent becomes the base of my log. The power becomes my what, it, what it's equal to. And 15 is what the log is. So this is pretty simple. There's something called a change of base where you could write it out like this. If you have a calculator that just does log base 4 of 15, you can plug that in your calculator anyways and you'll get this. The same thing. So this is, that, that one showed what the change of base is. So this is the actual rule for it. If I've got log base b of a, this, can, this equals log a over log b. Just a rule that you have. Most calculators can actually do this, log base b of a. Not all can, that's why this is something that's shown. But if your calculator can just do that, by all means do it. So let's try some of these. So simplify log base 2 of 30. Again, if you have a calculator, you can just plug that in. If we did the change of base, it would be this. Not too bad. Try another one, log base 5 of 42. Plug it in your calculator or log 42 over log 5. We get a number. These are rounded. So another important rule with this is if I have a to the power of log base a of b, again this is a, these are inverses. a to the power of and log to the base of a are inverses. So they cancel each other out and give you b. So for something like this, if I've got 2 to the power of log base 2 of 32, the 2 and the log base 2 cancel as 2 to the power of that cancels out, so this just equals 32. If I want to do a crazy one like this, notice 3 to the power of log base 3 cancel. 6 to the power of log base 6, they cancel. 234,987 to the power of log of base 234,987 cancel. So this just simply equals 4 times 2 minus 2, and for heaven's sake, if you minus the 2's before you multiply, I'm going to be very upset. I, might, I, I feel like if you make that mistake, I might as well just give you a 0 on the whole entire test because you can't bed mass. You should do this, especially easy stuff like that. So anyways, this equals 6. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 2 is 6. The end. So that's the end of the second section. Um, where we've dealt with the, the different power rules, the, law, the um, product rule, and the quotient rule. So now that you have those ready, we can move on to actually what the 8.3 is all about. You would not believe the state of the world right now, all, all because of the incident and when it happened. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how, how many times I said over and over again. I tried to use my my YouTube channel. I tried to make it so that people would listen to me and, and do do what I asked and still no no one was paying attention to me. I don't know how many times I said it. I said you just had to do one simple thing. One simple thing and 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 everything would be would be fine and still no no one was listening to me. It was just one one simple thing. I don't know how hard it was for people to do. I just asked for one thing and one thing only. And I just said, don't, buy, don't divide by zero. It's, it's very simple. Don't divide by zero. 
and and people just kept trying it and they kept trying it and finally someone took took some some integer a really easy value and they divided by zero and now look what happened so stupid like north america south america gone just like just like that completely imploded and then all the water rushed into the fill the space and now so now we have water shortages it the 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 mass of the earth just all of a sudden changed it knocked it off its tilt and and so now we're in this lopsided orbit that just has messed with the whole ecosystem and the entire environment and complete complete chaos all because these individuals decided they needed to divide by zero and figure out what happened so yeah an un, unbelievable unacceptable this is I warn them, and still.